Good morning. How are you? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. If you don't know who I am, this is a little crooked and I can't just, there we go. If you don't know who I am, my name is Sharon. Contrary to the popular belief of my name scrolling past your newsfeed, it's Sharon, not Sharon. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Okay, let's make the good coffee. Mm -mm 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 I don't know why I have that in my head right now. <laughs> don't even know why I have that in my head. Weird, but it's okay. All right. So how do you make this absolutely delicious coffee that has nootropics in it, that keeps you full and focused, all the things. It's so fantastic. You just add hot water to it. That's it. And I would add that you really do need a frother. You need a frother. Can I tell you why you need a frother? Just because you need a frother. Just go buy one. You buy nebulous things anyway. Just go buy a frother. It's like $10, $12, maybe $20 at the absolute most. If you find one that has like different gradients, you know, like a high, low, and high, medium, low, and all that type of stuff, you can find one that's like expensive. But I'm just saying, you can just find one for like maybe $12, $15, and then this like little thing will give you so much life in your house. Like, let me tell you something. But it's, it's bomb. Like, you will find things to froth. Let me tell you. You will find things to froth, okay? You will. You really will. All right, so opening it up, adding it to the water. Yay. Then we're going to mix it. Then we're going to add our cream. It's so exciting. Oh, my goodness. So let's talk about this. Your butt and your butt are getting in your way. Like, both of them. Like, both. Like both butts, like not just one, but two butts. Two butts are getting in the way of you right now being successful in whatever you decide you're going to do, whether it be like weight loss, whether it be business, whether it be your life. I don't know what it is, but your butt and your butt are getting in your way. Like your butt and your butt are getting in your way. Like for real, like your butt, your, but it won't work out, but it didn't work for me last time. But I'm not really sure, but I've tried everything before, but, but like all those butts are getting in the way. And then also your own butt is getting in your way as well. Like your own butt is getting in the way of your success. How, how do I know this? Because I talk to people all day long. I talk to all day long and then they, they're like, oh, I'm really ready. And then all of a sudden it's like, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to be successful, but I'm not really sure if it's going to work out for me. But I'm not really sure. I just, I'm just like, you know what? And the reason why I'm talking about it is because I've been there. I've been there. So I can like plainly talk about like just using like those, those, those and they're valid excuses at times. They are valid excuses. You know what I'm saying? But when you are like dealing with your health, I was like talking to somebody and she was like telling me, she's like, when I'm like dealing with my health, she's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I'm just like, I feel the same exact way. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, I can, like, get upset and weird about, like, purchasing products now. Or I can get upset and weird about pur purchasing medicine later. Like, which one do I want it? And I can't have it both ways. I can't have it both ways, you know? And so, like, I'm just charging you to just prevent. I'm adding, lip, like, vanilla. I'm just charging you to, like... Make sure that you're taking care of your body. Make sure you take care of yourself. You know, like I, my biggest thing is fall in love with you. Fall in love with taking care of yourself. Fall in love with being healthy with yourself. Fall in love with you. Fall in love with you again. If you haven't, start. Begin to start falling in love with you. How do you start falling in love with yourself? Begin to go in the mirror and start telling yourself that you're worth it. That's number one. Like begin to start telling yourself that you're worth it because for whatever reason, like, like you maybe not feel that you're not worth it, like spending amount of the amount of money or you feel like you're it's worth just like investing in clothes and then being super scrutinous about like what you look like in them. Like let's really pinpoint the situation because you can't have it both ways. Like your butt, but it's not gonna work out for me is getting in the way of in your butt. Your own butt is getting in the way of your success. All of it, both butts. Both butts are getting in the way. And when you really begin to just really just stop, take, like, take the excuses out. Just take the excuses out. Just take that full butt out. Just take the butt. 
take your butt out of the equation and take that other butt out of the equation and begin. Just begin. And then when you begin, just tell yourself, don't stop. Yes, girl, it's always worth it in the end. It's always worth it. But then you got to tell yourself don't stop because successful people don't quit. Successful people don't quit. You want to know why people like have it better than you is because they don't quit. They don't quit. They're not sitting out here going, I'm not really sure if it's going to work out for me. They're not like, they're not like double minded in their thoughts and actions and everything. They, when they put their mind to it, that's what they're doing. They're going for it. They're not saying, oh my gosh, I'm not really sure if it's going to work out for me. No, they're going to go, I know it's going to work out for me. And that's why they're out there doing it. And that's why they're being successful in it. So you being scrutinous in that situation or at them at their situation is not going to help you any. It's what's going to help you is you getting your butt out of the situation, your excuses, and making sure that you get your butt in gear. Get your butt in gear. Get up and get going. Yes, absolutely. It's up to you to make the right one. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this right here, I'm just telling you like what I, I'm, I'm telling you what I'm learning. I'm telling you what I'm learning because let me tell you something. It took a long time for me to get into this spot right here where I'm at to be confident enough in telling you like it took me a long time to get my own butt in gear. It took me a long time to get my own butt in gear. And, but now that my butt is in gear, shoot, it ain't getting out of gear. <laughs> it's not getting out of gear. Amen. I'm keeping my butt in gear because I like the success that I'm having. I like feeling this way. I like getting up and feeling chipper and excited because I was not ever, ever feeling this chipper and excited in the morning prior to coffee. Okay, I still didn't drink my coffee. Why? Number one, I'm dipped in, I'm dipped and lifted, okay? Let me tell you something. I'm dipped and lifted. All right, hallelujah. That's the, <laughs> that's the reason why we wake up so chipper in the morning, hallelujah. But the second thing is because I'm energetic, you know? When you are, when you have that extra weight on you, like, you don't really want to do anything. It's not like, you're not, like, motivated. Like, why would you be motivated? Like, people go, how do I get motivated? Like, Ooh, let me tell you something. How I got motivated, start seeing results. I started seeing results. I started seeing results. I started making and creating results for myself. Making and creating results for myself. Like, how do you make and create results for yourself? Well, I began to start, like, celebrating every little success. Every little success. Oh, my goodness. Well, I got up this morning. Yay, we got up. You know, like, that was, like, a real big thing for me. Okay? And now, like, your girl gets up like nobody's business. Like, <laughs> Yay, we're up. You know what I'm saying? But you have to begin to start taking those butts and your butt into gear. Because let me tell you something. It's going to be worth it in the end. It's going to be worth it in the end. When you look at your butt, <laughs> like your real butt, in the end of this, baby, it's going to be fantastic. But you're going to have to get up and out of it. You can't sit where you're at right now. Like where you're sitting right now is not working for you, boo, because it hasn't been working for you. And so why are you trying to make fetch happen? Fetch is not happening, boo. It ain't going to happen, okay? Just stop trying to make it happen and get up and get with the program because let me tell you something. You're worth it. You are worth it. When you get your butt in gear, you'll realize how much you're worth it. You'll realize, oh my gosh, I needed this energy. Oh my gosh, I really needed to do that. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to have those five, 10 pounds off. Even if it's five or 10 pounds, baby, I'm not asking you to like drop 80 pounds, baby. Let me tell you something. I never set out to drop 80 pounds. Never, ever, never, ever. I was just like, let me, I would be happy with 20. And then when I was like, ooh, 20, let me do 40. Ooh, 40, let, let's see what we can do here. And then I was like, 60? Oh, what? Okay, we're going to lose 100 pounds now. We're going to lose 100 pounds. And that's when I set out to lose 100 pounds, okay? And I've not stopped. Nothing stops me. Not one day, not one week, not one month is going to stop me. It doesn't stop me. It doesn't stop me. If I would have decided to go, oh my gosh, I, I didn't lose 100 pounds in a year and stopped all of this, I would never ever be in a spot saying that I'm successful. I would never ever be in a spot saying that I'm successful. I'm successful, why? Because I didn't quit. 
I am successful. Why? Because I did not allow those excuses to just fester up in me and just allow them to just play out and me just give them high fives and just go, yes, that's what we're doing. Like, no, <laughs> I don't think so. All right. If you want to change, you're going to have to make a change for yourself. You're going to have to get your butt, your B-U-T-T -T in gear and stop with your butts with your excuses on why you're not going to do it or why it's going to be hard for you. Let me tell you something. Weight loss is hard. It's so super hard, but it's so easy. It's so easy to, it's so easy to splurge. Like, let me tell you something. It's so easy to splurge. Like, I was just like trying to, I had like a date day with my husband yesterday. And let me tell you something. Your girl was splurging. We were splurging. We were splurging. I wanted the ice cream and the donut. I wanted the ice cream and the donut because I just wanted it, okay? It's easy to splurge. It's hard to stay on course. It's hard to stay on course. But when you get your butt, your excuses out of the equation, you can do it. You can totally do it. You can totally do it. But when you begin to go, oh, I'm not really sure. I'm just not really sure if it's going to work out for me. I'm just not really sure. It didn't work out. For, I've tried everything, and it just didn't work out for me. Well, guess what, boo? You're going to get what you speak of because you're, like, death in life. Death in life, boo. And you're eating that fruit. You're eating that fruit. And then you're wondering why you're 40 pounds overweight, 50 pounds overweight. Because you've been speaking that over yourself for years and years and years and years. So what's going to be hard is for you to start speaking the most positive stuff over yourself, over your life, over yourself, so that you can get over this hurdle and stop with your butts, so that you can get to the program, so that you can see your butt on the other side of your situation. Okay? Y'all ain't trying to hear me. Y'all ain't trying to hear me today. Y'all are not even trying to hear me. I came up here like gangbusters on Monday because I rested yesterday. Let me tell you something. I rested. Thank you, Jesus, for the rest. Thank you, Lord, for the rest. But I ain't playing this Monday. We ain't playing any longer. And you need to stop playing with yourself. Okay? Like, not like that. But just, do you hear me? Do you hear me? <sighs> Head out the gutter, people. Head out of the gutter. But you got to stop playing with your own mind. Stop it with your butts. I, but I'm not really sure if it's going to work out, but it's expensive. But like, let me tell you something, boo. It's going to be expensive when you are having that like heart disease, like in the hospital, like two years from now, because you are eating unhealthily. Okay. Stop it. If it's not going to be weight loss, it needs to be the goal is needs to be. You're going to be healthy. That's what it needs to be. Like, I'm not going to try to lose any weight. I just want to be healthy. That's where you need to be then. Okay. Because let me tell you something, if it's too much for you to think about, oh my gosh, I need to lose weight, then let me tell you something, you're going to run into weight loss when you start beginning to be healthy, okay? Because you eating the way you're eating is not going to help you. I love you. It's not. It's just not, okay? You need to add more fruits and vegetables within your system. I drink way more water than your three, four, five bottles, baby. You need to drink almost a, you need to drink a gallon of water every day. Stop trying to play games and drink only a few bottles of water. You need to drink a gallon of water each day, okay? Stop. Just stop. Stop playing with yourself trying to say that you don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You just don't want to do it. You just don't want to do it. So here's your wake-up call today. Amen. Today's your day one. Amen. If Monday's your day, today's your day one. Glory be to God. Let's get it going. Let's stop playing the games. Stop playing the games with yourself, with your mind tricks, talking about, oh my gosh, I can't do it. Well, you can't do it because you keep telling yourself you can't do it. Do you want to do it? Do you want to be powerful or do you want to be pitiful? You can't be both, boo. You can't. You can't. So powerful is I'm going to get this done I'm by any means necessary. Pitiful is I'm not really sure. And you can't have it both ways. You cannot. You're going to have to make a decision and stick to it. And the, again, I'm telling you, most successful people don't quit. They don't quit. They don't quit. They're not out here like, going, oh my gosh, it's not going to work. They're trying to figure out why it didn't work. Okay? So you, while you sitting out here making fun of people in their success, you need to sit down and figure it out for yourself and to go, oh my goodness, why am I not successful? 
Why am I not successful? Well, maybe it's because I quit this, I quit that, I quit that, and I quit that. Stop quitting on yourself. Begin to start be, um, making promises and beginning to stop breaking them for yourself. It's easy when you are able to break promises with yourself. You are able to break promises with other people. Stop breaking promises with yourself. How do you want it? How is it that you want it? Oh, I'm not even, like, I rested yesterday. Like, I rested. <laughs> I rested. You know? Had a good game of disc golf yesterday. Praise the Lord. Amen. Got some good sun. Hallelujah. Got some good insight. Praise the Lord. Got more wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Let's go. Like, come on. But what happens is, is that we, like, put our butts, our excuses in the way. And we got to stop with it. We just got to stop. If you want to be successful, stop with your excuses. Stop with the butt. I'm not really sure. Your butt is going to not make you successful. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Let me just tell you that. You want to be successful? Begin to stop telling yourself that you can't. Begin to start telling yourself that you can and that it's worth it, and that you're worth to see yourself on the other side of your success. It's worth to see your butt, your butt, B-U-T-T, -T, on the other side of success today. But when you keep, to keep having that, I'm not really sure attitude, guess what? Your butt is going to stay right where you're at, and you're going to be upset that other people are passing you by. Because you did not even get up and decide to yourself that you were going to take those excuses off the table. Just like I'm going to take this coffee off the table and drink it. Okay, let's talk about it. Are you hearing me this morning? Or are, like, is this thing off? Because I got six eyeballs watching me. Okay, let me tell you something. You want to be successful? Don't quit. Don't sit there and quit. Don't scrutinize other people in their lanes. Don't do that. Don't do that. Figure out why it's not working out for you. If, if weight loss didn't work out for you before, boo, figure it out. Figure out why it didn't work. Figure out why it didn't work. If you are the common denominator in the situation, then you need to fix you. Okay? You need to fix you. Figure out what you need to tell yourself each day so that you can fix your mindset so that you can get to the goal. I almost dropped my coffee. Because I'm excited this morning. Because I know that somebody on the other side of these six eyeballs or on my replays, they're going to get it. They're going to get it. And you're going to be on the other side of your success because you heard this girl on this live here telling you, don't you dare quit. You don't get to quit. Who told you you get to quit? You don't get to quit. You don't get to stop. You don't get to just back it back. You don't get to do any of that. You get to keep on going why because you got eyeballs looking at you if you got children guess what they're watching you they're watching all your moves all your moves all your friends every weekend all the things that you're doing all the things when you get ready to get your butt your butt into gear then everything's gonna start looking different but it's not gonna change until you take that butt out of your sentence but it's not going to work. But I'm not sure. Boo, let me tell you. That butt is going to cost you way more than you want. <laughs> that butt is going to cost you way more than you want. Count the costs. Count the cost of that butt. But it's not going to work. But it's like, too expensive. But but your doctor was telling you that you need to like lose weight. But your blood pressure is like sky high every single time that you go. And you don't know how to like, like do it. But your knees have been hurting you. You're just like sitting here. I'm not really sure. But you know, you'd much rather like spend nebulous dollars at Target. Target. No condemnation. I'm just saying this is what people do. And then they go, oh my gosh, like, why do I have to get this knee surgery? Well, maybe if you decided you were going to prevent it before, because again, every pound that you're overweight puts four pounds pressure on your joints. 
four pounds pressure on your joints every pound that you're overweight. So if you're 40 pounds overweight, boo, guess how much you're putting on your knees? Guess. So you're going to need to change out. You're wondering why your knees are hurting. You're wondering why your ankles are hurting. Because you need to change it. Invest. Invest in yourself. And it's not a lot to invest. It really isn't. It really isn't. Because there are packages out there that are so much way more than mine. Way more than mine. And I'm really, really honest with that. They're way more than mine. Even with all the bells and whistles. Okay? Let me tell you something. What I have here is healthy tools that's going to allow you to get to where you need to go. This is not something where you're going to just drop like weight like all crazy. Like, I'm just going to drop a bunch of weight. Like, no. This is healthy tools. Have you already been thinking about losing weight? Have you already been exercising? Have you already been like losing weight and your skin is like hanging and you need to like do something? That's where my products come into play. If you're sitting here talking about like you want to drop a bunch of weight, not do any exercise, boo, this is not the thing for you. This is not the thing for you. I love you very much, but on my platform, you will have to exercise and you will have to eat well to get to your goals because your butt is costing you way too much. I got to go. I love you. But your butt, your two butts are costing you way too much. Your butt is sitting down, just not doing anything, costing you way too much. Your excuse, your butt is not going to work. It's costing you way too much. People have been like watching me literally like drop like 80 pounds like on my platform and literally have like watched me and go, oh, it's for her. Seriously, let me tell you something. It's not for me. The reason why it's for me is because I didn't quit. Okay? And you can do it too. Don't sit here and go, oh my gosh, it's for her. And they go, oh my gosh, she looks so great. Like, yes, I look great because I didn't quit. And you can do it too. So stop with your excuses and let's get with the program. I love you. Don't cheat on me with your coffee.